Hello everybody, my name is Mrs Keating and I will be your teacher next year in Ash class. It's very exciting and I cannot wait to meet you and get to know you all and play with you all properly. So, should we have a look at our classroom, the place where we will be doing lots of playing and having lots of fun and doing lots of amazing learning. Let's go and take a look. Okay, here is our classroom. It is Ash class. This is the door we usually come in through. We can get in through other doors as well, but this is the main door. And at the moment, there aren't any children in Ash class in this video. They've all gone home. This was after school. So the tables are a bit clearer than they normally are. And all the chairs have been stacked. Normally, they're all tucked in under the tables. So we've got our team points up here. You'll be given a colour team. And that will be your PE t-shirt. We'll tell you that. We've got lots of places where you can borrow scissors and glue and sellotape and make lots of things. Over here we have our role play area. At the moment it's a home corner, so it's a kitchen. People like to make lots of yummy food in here. We have also got our calm corner, which is where children go if they need to feel calm and uh, just take a few minutes to do some breathing or read a book. We've got a lovely whiteboard. Children love writing on that. And we've got our topic table here. We did have butterflies, but we set them free. So we've kept their cocoons. You can see them in there. So this changes, depends on what our topic is. Um, over here, we have our message centre or our writing table. Where children draw lots of lovely pictures or do writing or write messages. And again, on the shelves, there's lots of things there. You can choose those. You can take whatever you like from there. And the pencils and paper are on the top. Inside this golden box you will find your name and that's how we learn to write and practice writing our names. All the way over here we've got our loose parts which we use for maths and for building. So there's lots of different things here again you can choose, you can use it and you can put it back when you're finished. Over here we have our small world at the moment, we're learning about castles, so we've got knights and dragons and castles and our construction area, or oh, we've also got a little hospital at the moment. Lots of different construction uh, games, so lots of things you can make. Some of our boys have been making a big, big boat that's on the top there. And our phonics wall where we have all of our different sounds we've been learning and the children's names, so we've got R for rag, but also some of our boys, their names start with a R. -r, -r. Over here we have our adult workshop table, so if you're doing work with a grown-up, you might be sat at this table. That's why we've got our whiteboard. And this is my desk, it's got my computer on, so please don't touch it. If you see a sign that looks like this red circle, it means do not touch, please. And it's our carpet where we do our listening. So we come and sit on the carpet, we have stories or singing or lots of learning, and we talk about our day. We have our whiteboard that we use. And our timetable so you'll know what's happening every day because it will be on the wall right here and it tells us what's happening in the morning what's happening after lunch so we talk about that in the morning and after lunch and then on these shelves we've got some games and some jigsaws oh, but on the top we've got our book voting so every day the children choose which story we have at story time and you'll have a block that's the color of your team and it will have your name written on and you put your block in front of the book you want to vote for and underneath we've got some jigsaws, could do with a bit of a tidy. And uh, here's our yellow sofa, that's for our VIP, our very important person of the day. So everyone takes turns to be chosen to be the VIP, and if you are chosen, you get to sit on the sofa for the day with a friend. Out this door we have our toilets and our pegs. You will have your very own peg with your very own name, um, and it will be where you keep your coat and your bag. There we go, there's Ben's. And here we have our toilets. These toilets are for just for our class, just for our class boys and girls. Just very normal toilets and we do have sinks on the other side to wash our hands. And then we have some shelves. These shelves are just for the grown-ups. If there's anything you'd like to play with on those shelves, please ask a grown-up and we will get it for you. So if we come all the way through our classroom, we can see our outside area. And again, it's a bit empty at the moment because it's all not set up. It's all been tidied away because it's after school. But normally this has water in it. We have lots of water toys. We have our water tray ready to go. This is our sand tray. It's usually full of sand. We've put the lid on for now because it's home time. 
And in this box we have loads of bricks to play with, lots of wooden blocks. These are some steps, sometimes the children like to use those as a stage. We've usually got activities or reading going on, we have our little black tuff tray over here. Um, there's usually some sort of maths or messy play going on on there. At the moment we're growing sunflowers, we'll probably grow something different when you come to see us. The sunflowers might still be there if we're lucky. <laughs> and of course we have our mud kitchen. Now this whole area might look a little bit different because it's having a bit of a makeover. It should look much nicer when you come next time. And we have a big blackboard. We like to do lots of rolling and painting and drawing and writing on there. And we have these little grey drawers which have got games in. And the big green um, cupboard has got dressing up in. Lots of things under this big shelter to do den making with or make obstacle courses. So you'll see all the crates and the planks and the tarpaulins. You can use those and all the bikes. All of these things you can choose, use and put away. And this den, this is our club den. It's got a rocking horse in at the moment, but actually it's quite empty because the children choose what goes in here every day. So children get to run a club if they want to. We choose one person a day to run a club and they get to choose which equipment they have. So you can get back into our corridor through this door. Do you remember the pegs and the toilets? Here we are. See, we've gone around in a circle. So we're a bit of a circle in Ashgar, so you can never get lost because you just keep walking and you'll end up somewhere you remember. So that is our classroom. Those are all our areas. And it will be even nicer when you come because it will all be set up and ready for you. And this is our playground. OK. So I hope you enjoyed the tour and having a little sneaky look around and you can watch that video as many times as you like up until you come to join us in September and then you'll get to see the classroom for real. Wow. OK, I will see you then and I will see you in Ashcraft.